Welcome to episode eight twenty three. Sun Hongbin, barbarian real estate billionaire from China. This is an outline of episode eight twenty three. There are two reasons we study Sun Hongbin. First, he was in jail for almost four years when his boss accused him for embezzlement in nineteen ninety. Second, after he was released, he approached the same boss, borrowed half a million renminbi, and built one of the largest real estate company in China. He was born poor in a small village in Shanxi Province, China. He was the eldest of four children. He earned an undergraduate degree from Wuhan Institute of Hydraulic and Electrical Engineering. And then a master's degree from Tsinghua University in 1985. He quit graduate school at Tsinghua University and joined Lenovo. This was what Lenovo was selling in the beginning. He would work all day and all night, and he was a great motivator for his young sales force. At age 27. He controlled eighteen companies. Then his boss put him in jail for embezzlement. He was released in 1994 after good behavior. Amazingly, he went back to his old boss, apologized, and then got a half million renminbi loan to start a new real estate business. This is what Liu Chuanqi said about him. He is a rare person who can see the end of the business. This is picture of Sunco in 1995, and so he started as the little guy. In the next 15 years, Sunac became among the biggest developer in Tianjin, Beijing, and Shanghai. Sunac China's big IPO day came in Hong Kong in 2010. To become a national power. Sun Nac began to push into China's second-tier cities. In 2017, Sun Nac paid 9.3 billion dollars for tourism projects and hotels from Wanda Group. The company led by Wang Jianlin is selling 13 tourism city projects, including theme parks and 76 hotels, to real estate developer Sunac China Holdings Limited in a 9.3 billion dollar deal. The deal is said to be the second biggest real estate deal in China. Instead of Wang Jianlin, now Sun Hongbin will compete with Disney for entertainment. Now, the two secrets of his success. Secret number one: as entrepreneur, you must take risks. Here, the first thing is that you must not have any risk. If you have no risk, then you will lose money. Then you will lose money. Secret number two: Everyone fails at one point, so it is best to forgive and help those who failed. Because this failure is a very normal thing. Everyone can accept failure. Then, when you fail, you can be fair. This is the best. Right? If others fail, you can be fair. You can help them. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Sun Hongbin, Ten Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.